Hello everyone, this is John from the eLearning Authority and the purpose of this little uh, tutorial is just to show one of the features of Captivate that um, it's a really simple feature but it's a really effective feature and I'm speaking to uh, one of my clients earlier this week um, kind of realized that they really didn't know about this and it would have saved them a lot of time so it's just quite kind of a quick little simple thing um, and what it is it's the merge background feature now I went ahead and recorded just some sample screenshots from the NPR website and so you'll notice that um, you know kind of click through here uh, different screens appear um, and say this was some kind of a simulation course uh, something you wanted to capture the screens and maybe alter them a little bit now the one thing that we don't want is this date up here because say we're doing something we don't want it to be dated so we just want to get rid of that so um, you could take that into Photoshop and you could edit, edit it out in Photoshop and you can bring it back in or you can do what I do and you can draw a white square or rectangle over it. So let's see, I select it, selected the rectangle tool. Let me just drag that across there. Boom. Unclick that and there there it is, it's gone. So that seems like a pretty, you know, simple solution. But the problem is that if you'll notice down here, the rectangle is just put on a layer by itself so if I were to add things to this this if I were to add text captions if I were to make it a uh, add any more animations and say drag the timeline out down here I always have to worry about this rectangle I always have to make sure that it's uh, the same length that it's on the right uh, layer um, you have to worry about you know okay what are is it gonna fade in and fade out so I mean, there's a lot of things that you have to worry about so what I figured is that instead of having this as a part of the actual timeline if you right click your rectangle and go into this merge into background make the selection or control M and the little uh, box comes up asking if you're sure you want to merge it click yes then what do you know it's actually a part of the background now so you notice it's also disappeared from the timeline so that's one less thing you have to worry about and if you have to do this with 20 different slides uh, it's really gonna help you now knowing that this is part of the background now before I do this let me undo that um, if you have several slides that you have to cover this up in I would go ahead and you know create the triangle put it where you want to put it edit copy it and then just go to each uh, corresponding slide and paste it just like this go ahead and paste it on all these then you can go back and merge everything into the background okay and yeah what I just basically wanted to record these for people who have you know kind of these real life problems real world problems with Photoshop nothing really fancy uh, Photoshop or Captivate nothing fancy but just things that you know um, in my experience since I work with these tools all the time I can probably save people some time and effort and frustration so uh, uh, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you guys soon